welcome to the coronavirus prediction model called polynomial regression. In this video, we are going to discuss the fundamental of polynomial regression and the application of it for predicting the COVID-19 confirmed cases for India for coming next 10 days. What is regression? Regression is a statistical method which is used to estimate or predict the target or dependent variable based on the value of independent variable or called predictor. The regression is classified as linear regression, ridge regression, stepwise regression, polynomial regression. The linear regression is a simplest model which finds the relationship between dependent and independent variable by a linear mapping of the data. Equation 1 gives the simplest linear regression model where the predicted value y is computed using intercept or bias to beta naught and the slope beta 1 and the independent variable x where epsilon is called as error term which is computed and the progress of the model. Polynomial regression is a special type of regression which tries to map the relationship between independent and dependent variable by a curvilinear relationship. Equation 2 gives the polynomial regression model where the predicted value y is computed based on the polynomial term of the independent variable x where the theta naught is called as intercept term or bias term. The theta 1 to theta n is called as the core parameter or slope value of the model. We can see from the equation the independent variable x is given power of 2, 3 etc up to power of n. The maximum power of the model which is here n is called as degree of the model or order of the model. Challenges of polynomial regression. Selecting the optimal value of the degree or order of the polynomial regression is challenging one which determines the accuracy of the model. The degree of the polynomial is very less. The model will not able to fit the data properly. It will not provide accurate prediction. On other hand, if the degree of the polynomial is greater than the optimal, it may overfit the data which will result in the failure of the generalization. In that case, the new cases cannot be predicted well. Usually, the optimal degree is selected by means of trial method. And a travel method, various degree of polynomial order is applied to the given data set and the optimal values are selected based on MSV value computed on the process. The order for which we are getting less MSV value is selected as optimal one. Model validation. Model validation is an essential step in any modeling technique which will help the assessment of reliability of the model before using the model to practical application and making decision based on that. There are various parameters are utilized to validate the model in order to assess the reliability of the model. The mean square error is the first parameter which is used to validate the model widely. The MSE is the measure of how well the regression fits the data. Mean absolute percentage error is another important parameter which is also used to evaluate the reliability of the model. If the mean absolute percentage error is less than 10%, we can say the model fits the data excellent manner. If the mean absolute percentage error is 10 to 20%, we can say the model is good. If the mean absolute percentage error is 20 to 50%, we can say the model can be acceptable. If the mean absolute percentage error is greater than 50%, the model is inaccurate, it cannot be used for forecasting. Another important parameter to evaluate the reliability of the model is coefficient of determination, or which is also called as R square. The R square measures the percentage of variation in the response variable y with respect to the explanatory variable x. The R square value gives on what degree the predicted value changes with respect to the changes of x. If the R square value greater than 0.9, we can say the model is very good which very well fit the data. If the R square value is greater than 0.8, we can say the model is good. If the R square value is greater than 0.6, we can say the model is satisfactory. Another important parameter which is called adjusted R square also calculated for evaluation of the model where the adjusted R square value is calculated using the R square value. If this adjusted R square is very very less than that of R square value, we can conclude the model overfit to the samples and which limits the generalization of the new data.
the polynomial regression is applied to indian official data of covid-19 confirmed cases and the prediction for next 10 days are computed which is plotted in the graph from the graph we can see that the model very well follow the official confirmed cases data in the prediction process in this graph the portion of the curve after the prediction line provides the predicted value of confirmed covid-19 cases in india for coming 10 days after applying the polynomial regression to official indian data the prediction of confirmed covid-19 cases for india is computed for next 10 days which is given here date wise let us see how this polynomial regression predict the covid-19 confirmed cases for india by comparing the data with official data for this comparison purpose the official data from website is taken for may 22 which is compared with the predicted value of polynomial regression we can see the actual reported cases officially for may 22nd is 118446 whereas our model predict for the same date as 121978 from this comparison we can conclude that the model provides the prediction with some degree of deviation thank you for watching subscribe the channel if you like